Welcome back to AdobeLife.com. I'm here with Cristina Pagnotta and nice. Giulia Flamini. Hello. It all sounds very Italian, but they actually <laughs> live in London. How are you guys? Good, thanks. Good, yes. Good, How was yeah. the trip over? Under the Channel Tunnel? Was, in the Channel Tunnel? It was tunnel? really quick, actually. Under the Channel yeah, Tunnel. Yeah, we didn't not, notice it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you like, didn't even notice? No. no. Is it like 20 minutes or something? Oh, suddenly it goes dark and then yeah, it goes just, light again. Yeah, okay. like reading. like, oh, wow, we're in France or something. Like, ooh. <laughs> awesome. Super quick. Yeah. So, welcome back here on adobelife.com. Um, uh, I think we've fixed our streaming issues and uh, we are fully live again. So, wow. Yeah. Whew, Whew. Look, this is me. <sighs> All right. So <laughs> this was a pretty stressful first you. first two hours. Yes. Where's my drink? And uh, so yes. So basically, uh, just a few housekeeping notes here. If you're watching this on uh, on YouTube, please come over to adobelive.com because this is where all of the action is happening right now. That's where you can have access to the chat to interact with us and uh, with Christina and Julia. And, uh, and there's also a, uh, a contest I will be speaking about um, as we go along. And also there's a new button there, a button that allows you to send us a tweet sharing your Behance portfolio. So, and we can have a look at you know, other people's portfolios. Yeah. That would be that would be super awesome if you share that with us. So that's all happening on adobelive.com. And uh, of course, on adobelive.com, we also have the schedule for everything that's going to happen in the, in the next three days. So of course, if I'm going here to the schedule, um, of course, now we're with Christina and Julia. Uh, then we will be uh, with Martin Deckers from Belgium and then Jin Zhang from, uh, from the UK, from London. And tomorrow and after tomorrow, we repeat everything, starting with Gordon and Christina and uh, Julia and Martin and Jin Zhang. And uh, for three days. Are you guys yeah. ready? I mean, do you know what that means Just to be three here? Days. Three days? <laughs> Just three days. Oh, you want more? I can guarantee you that by okay. the end of Thursday, you're going to be Oh, so what's happening tomorrow? You know what? You know, can yeah. we go on? Can we do more? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, welcome everybody. Let's see. Let's uh, let's have a quick round of um, uh, like who's in the chat, where you guys are watching from. Give us uh, an indication of the country you work. Uh, you are actually watching this from, and uh, well. Christina wow. and uh, Julia, uh, this is, it's all yours now. And I would I would actually start by introducing yourselves. Yeah. And uh, and I see that you have your Behance portfolio yeah. open. Oops. So maybe I can go over to that. Yeah. And uh, let's start with that. So yeah. this is your own uh, Christina yeah. Behance so, portfolio. Yeah, that's my Behance. So um, I'm a graphic designer. Mm -hmm. um, so by, my, my background is basically in editorial design, mm -hmm. but I just love, love typeface and design in typeface. Mm -hmm. I've always been like really obsessed by letters and typography and everything around. Um, so I try to do like as much as I can on, mm -hmm. on typeface when I do my like, free time and like do my spare time. So hey, check this out. Uh, Berlin, Florida, Nigeria, Morocco, wow. Arizona, Dubai, Amazing. Chicago, Texas. London. Oh, people wow. from London. Hey, Sam. Uh, Netherlands, Malaysia, <laughs> Brighton, Denver, oh, all over Amazing. the place. Oh, that is yeah. what I want to see in this chat. This is this Amazing. is this is how how you know this is a great yeah. community that uh, that's building around these Adobe lives. And uh, yeah. thank you all for for watching and uh, <laughs> and welcome. So yeah, we'll just uh, show like few um, some of my of my work. So um, I usually design fonts because this this is what I really like. So. Um, this is, I think, one of my um, yeah, favorite projects. This is a character. It's something I did like last year, I think. Um, I wanted to design something like really smooth and mm -hmm. um, a typeface that could be used either for paragraph or either for like, you know, big titles or like headlines. So I wanted to do something maybe that could be used in fashion design or like for magazines or like books and stuff like that. So um, I'm really been working on you know on the shape on the smoothness of the shape and then you have like different weights so you can use like regular or like uh, bold and, uh, and everything else so um, yeah I mean this is mainly what what I do let's see mm -hmm. then I do also like editorial design and, and other stuff but let, let's say I'm gonna work in these three days on, on a typeface mm -hmm. so I'm gonna share um, inspired by Audrey Hepburn 
Yeah, this, yeah, that was his, yeah, <laughs> exactly, yeah. It's, you can see this is like really elegant as mm -hmm. she was. She was like a great woman, you know, like, so I wanted to create something that actually can reflect like how she was and what she, what she did and how she was, she was known as, you know, some, someone like to be very elegant. So mm -hmm. I wanted to create something like very similar. Um, so I go sometimes from like very elegant typefaces like this one to something actually really, um, sporty mm -hmm. like this one so this is very sharp and sans serif so this could be used like for like a sports brand or you know for like big posters and um, headlines so for like all these variation in letters so this is the inspiration of that was speed so i wanted to create something that give a sense of speed or like something mm -hmm. moving so like people that actually are skiing on the mountains uh, you know when you see like when, when you go on the snow and you see like the shape that you can get like i wanted i wanted to create something like that so um that was that was the yeah that was the main inspiration and then this is another one which is like rounded as well as the other one but a little bit like smoother let's say uh, so you got like uppercase set you got like small large shapes um, variations um, yeah accents like everything else so these works, all of them work, so you can actually like download them like from whatever. Um, and then, oh, that was featured in GR, what's uh, graphic design, uh, yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, all, all of them, yeah, they were featured yeah, in graphic design, yeah. Um, then I do some editorial design as well, but let's say typography is always like the main thing I work on, because I, I think when you want to say something or like when you need like either a logo i think typeface is the best way to tell people and to 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 actually tell a story because you you speak with words so typeface and letters is you know you learn you learn to read when you're like a child so you need something really good you know also visually so typography i think it's like really important in, in design in general so what do you think about these uh have you, i don't know if you've ever seen them but there's this new generation of fonts now that are colored fonts that you can actually have color in them really but yes oh, it's, no. it's uh it's they're called svg fonts and photoshop supports them right now okay and That's of course great. we're also working on other applications to support them but uh there's uh there's you know more and more uh type faces that are designed yeah. also including color that's and, great. Uh, I think that's super interesting. Yeah, that's super mm -hmm. interesting. I mean, you can tell so much with colors as well. Mm -hmm. So, when you, once you combine typeface and colors, and then mm -hmm. every, you put everything together, and you get the right message, I think it's very Let important. Me see. Type. Yes, go to typewithpride.com. Type that's actually a font that was created, um, uh, you know, in memory of uh, the creator of the iconic rainbow flag. Oh, that's great. Type with pride.com. Type with pride. Type with Try to put the www in front. Oh, yeah. There we go. Okay. And. Mm -hmm. Oh, people from India. There you go. That's amazing. Oh, wow. This is great. Yeah. And if you scroll oh, down, yeah. you see, you start seeing how, you know, it can be. Yeah. It's pretty cool, and this was something. This was a project that Ogilvy worked on with a with actually a company from here in Paris called Font Self, the okay. one I was talking to you about, oh, to create yeah. the, um, uh, the the typable <laughs> um, uh, alphabet. This so, is amazing. Mm -hmm. So you, you can actually choose like which color to yes. use each mm -hmm. shape, and then yes. you can combine shapes. That's mm -hmm. amazing. Yeah, that's great. Okay, that's just yeah. a little, you know. <laughs> sorry for the interruption, but I thought so that was an interesting <laughs> bit of information. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that's it. Let's now, Julia. Yeah, oh, actually, yeah. I'm, okay. I'm not as elegant <laughs> as Christina. Enough of Christina. All, okay. <laughs> yeah. No. Um, oh, let yeah, me move to your can, screen. Yeah. So I don't know if we want to check my Beyonce mm -hmm. from my deep past because it's not <laughs> at all. But I have a Tumblr one, so a Tumblr profile, so I can show like more recent projects. Um, so yeah, I started as a graphic design with a passion for illustration, and and then this became my work actually. So I use. Um, 
or my skates are like illustrate illustration or um, I did logos well, stuff <laughs> um, calendar uh, icons yeah I'm really proud of this mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah from my past I can show you this calendar which I did for um, a visual design studio in Rome was one of my first because it was it's 2012, so yeah, many years ago actually, for a fabric So many years agency. ago. For me, it's, yeah. So <laughs> many That's years ago. That's another life, yes. actually. <laughs> <laughs> Look at my wink. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, well, many times ago, yeah. Um, uh, yeah, so in this studio, uh, I could work on like the really step-by-step -step process of this job, so from um, creating the font, so work on the font. So maybe I can show you at the end. I got some pictures about just the font, maybe. So I literally draw on the font. Mm -hmm. um, I did the air one by one. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it was a long, yeah, long journey to the end. But and and I created this. All good things animals. take a long time. So yeah. But now it seems that we don't have time at all. <laughs> no, we need to like take our time. It took me a lot to do this calendar, <laughs> but now you have just like one week to finish the project. So it's like it's very everything is very fast. Um, yeah, so what's for um, um, a fabric um, brand? Mm -hmm. So we use the, like, the fabric as the texture for each animal. Um, yeah, inspiring, the shapes are inspiring from Charlie Harper works. Um, so this is from 2012. <laughs> and then... Maybe I can pick another one. Um, oh yeah, I work for a book cover and we won the, um, the main prize for the uh, EDA Award. What's the EDA Award? Uh, European Design Award. Oh, okay. From the very past, 2014. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, a long time ago. Yeah. And also, ago. also, I see in 2013. So two years in a row. Oh my God. Yeah. Yes. You won it two th two years in a row. Yeah. Wow. Congratulations. Was, yeah. The but it's not me. Like the, stu the studio. So yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I collaborate with the studio, so I be I was part of the project. And we work with processing to create the texture for the covers. Um, yeah, I was very, awesome. I was very proud of, the, yeah, of this project. So, do you guys work together in a studio, or do you? Did you... No, we we actually met in this studio where mm -hmm. she used to work, like in Rome, because mm -hmm. we we both in started Rome. in Rome. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Um, so then I did an intern where Julia was working and then we did some project together and mm -hmm. we sometimes work together. But you okay. collaborate yeah. with this in this calendar? Yeah, yeah. I think we... I oh, think it was part of one uh, of these product, projects maybe, I can't remember which one. Um, but yeah, we, we did work together yeah, like three times. Together. Yeah, yeah. And then what brought both of you to London? I guess just design. I don't know. <laughs> the weather is amazing. No, just the change. Just the food is amazing. <laughs> amazing food in London. Yeah, well, exactly. no, actually, the things, things are getting better. Yeah, yes, yeah. yeah. No, no. Things have yeah. changed a lot since I was in London, which was in '92, and that's ah. uh, a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> a long time ago. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. Um, um, but actually, mm -hmm. London. If I if I can swap with the with the the present actually, <laughs> so Tumblr. Um, London brought me uh, some infographic skill because I started to work last year for an agency that worked with infographics a lot. Mm -hmm. So I did something for Google. Um, so I work with this cover. Everything has to be, uh, had, um, had to be like not automatic but in perspective. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it took me a lot to do this project actually and then like doing something like mapping or, yeah icons yeah. Or, okay. yeah. it's awesome oh, yeah. other infographics um, everything is in Latin because it was um 
like the first step of the process mm -hmm. and then the client choose everything they want mm -hmm. <laughs> things so i just showed like the very step the very first step and then we, we have to change anything but um uh, yeah i had uh, the illustration as well so i uh, collaborate with this project this this became um, a bestseller now is a, a child book mm -hmm. Called um, Good Night Stories for Rebel Girls. Um, for Rebel Rebel Girls. Girls. Okay. Yeah. Um, so these two illustrations for that. This one, the two artists. So yeah, very different projects. I don't know which one to pick actually. <laughs> All right. So, Christina and Julia, what are yeah. we going to be working on in these three days? Or are we, yeah. how, how, did, well, how did you plan these three days? So, we, we are going to work on one project okay. all over the three days. Mm -hmm. So, we, we have like really different skills. So, Julia is like more into illustration and infographics and mm -hmm. I'm more into typeface. So, the idea is to create something that actually can merge like typeface and illustration mm -hmm. together so we thought that a poster would be nice all right um so as a brief we thought it's been now i think 500 years that martin luther published the 95 pieces on the cathedral no, so you have, you have to say you have to say christine <laughs> what <laughs> no, is, is the 500th anniversary 500th <laughs> yeah. anniversary we try this like a few times. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, you yeah, don't know. You can't imagine how much time I spent uh, uh, correcting Michael's English. You know, like he's lived with his French accent, so it's yeah. sometimes it's very. I don't feel uh, to correct anyone, but, <laughs> but I want to try just to try. Very okay. Five hundred. Yeah. Five hundred anniversary. Yeah. Yes. So we want to celebrate mm -hmm. the anniversary. So we thought we can design a poster when we can, where we can merge a little bit of typography with like mm -hmm. some infographic and um, an illustration um, so I, we we actually choose this like time this period in history because it was very interesting so the, there is like a shift from typeface from handwriting to like typeface because like mm -hmm. typography was in, invented like 60 years before or something mm -hmm. so it was it's it's very interesting to see like how letters were shaped in at that time so there is like a complete like shift from these like smooth shapes to something like which is very like squared and like mm -hmm. sharp and like you know like very uh, hard to mm -hmm. see like on also on paper so um, and then there is also there is a contrast in between like so typography and these kind of smooth shapes with like flowers or like yeah. you know the hand letters and stuff like that so there is like there is a contrast, the contrast it. yeah, yeah so it's it, it could be very interesting to see like how these two things could be and merge together and what, what we can create then. Mm -hmm. So, um, so yeah, we're going to work, I'm going to work on the typeface and Julia is going to work on the illustration and the infographic right. and then we're going to merge everything together okay. on the last day and All see right. what we're going to get. So we're going to be working in parallel. Yes. yes. All right. So what, what we did as first step was to create a board in, in Pinterest, mm -hmm. uh, which we can share ideas, so maybe the look and feel of the poster that will be, and um, so. So is this how you typically gather your your mood boards or inspiration on Pinterest? Yeah, I mean, Pinterest like books mm -hmm. or magazines, but I think it's it's nice to have like everything in one place, mm -hmm. so that you can just get and a flavor line. of like what kind of visual style was at the mm -hmm. time you kind of get all these like images and you kind of bombarded with all these like shapes and it, you know but you then get like an impression of how those mm -hmm. people actually used to live and what they did and how was the visual language at that time mm -hmm. so you can then get everything all the you know all the insights and then you get all this feedback and then you can just your mind can create mm -hmm. and elaborate everything. and then make everything contemporary so yeah like elaborate just that the history can make everything actual, like yeah. for nowadays. And yeah, yeah, and also, I mean, if if you if you work with someone which is actually on the other side of the world, it's it's a nice place to share like mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah. Right? so you can you can work on a you know on a joint board and like on a mm -hmm. shared board and just add stuff. Mm -hmm. and, uh, um, so yeah, 
So, so let's show. Yeah, so that's yeah. This is so this, this was research. the first step actually. So I'm gonna do something like with smooth shapes. So yeah, uh, with flower texture and and Christina or something. Yeah, like. I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna work on the on the typeface. And so yeah, we we sketch something actually. Yes. Uh, okay. Let's see. Like let's show. Uh, let's take. Let's grab this for a second. Let's see how far I can bring this. Uh, uh, yeah, sort of. Let me see. All right, so here we have. Hello. <laughs> we have Christina's blank page. Yeah. And here we have. Oh, oh no! I just turned it off. Did I? No. Wait. No, no, no. I was filming. Oh, there we go. Oh my god. Okay. Which project? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> All right. Just and need to be very careful. Yeah, I did just because we are just three days. Mm -hmm. to show everything so I did this floral um, texture lines that um, it, it will be my infographic actually to merge with um, with the, the typography mm -hmm. of Christina yeah. okay good. so I just uh, took a photo of this and put in in, in, the, in Illustrator okay. so I can like draw start drawing yeah, on it start drawing mm -hmm. on that okay yeah how about you yeah this is my <laughs> <laughs> Um, like, yeah, whoa. so <laughs> so I usually so I kind of try to get a flavor of the shapes that were in use at that time. So I try to have a look at the typeface, but also I think it's important to have a look at the architecture. So if you look at everything that was that's been done in at that time, so it's very it's very sharp. So they usually work on like squares, modules, right? Like stuff like that. So lines, 45 degrees lines, triangles, rectangles, squares. So everything was like, there is nothing smooth like that or like that. It was all like very, you know, like if you want to draw like an H or an N, it's all like very square or something like that. Mm -hmm. So I try to kind of understand what was the focus points on the on the typeface in, in this case is that you never have you, you don't have any rounded shape so you don't have anything like that but this would probably be something like that. So once I, 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 I get this, so the main idea, I then usually start just designing or like sketching a few letters. So I, I, I don't think there is like a the right way to do that, but I usually, what I usually do is start with the word hype because these letters are actually, from these letters you can get all the other ones. So for example, from the P you can get then Q, D and B. The Y is made of like triangle, so you can get the V the W from the H you can get the N, the M and then the R from the E you can get the A so it's all like if, if you if you build like these ones with modules then you can just get the other ones and then just try them together and see how they work together mm -hmm. so yeah that's the main that's the main thing all right so you're gonna you're gonna start working on on the sketches? Uh, yes, I'm gonna I'm gonna start working on the sketches, and then I'm gonna um, once I've got in mind the shape of these letters, mm -hmm. I'm gonna just do everything in Illustrator. Okay. So, oh, there's a question for you. How do you touch your screen? Touch screen photos. Yeah. So, uh, how do I transfer ideas from paper to electronic? Well, I either t well sometimes I take pictures. Um, other times I just like I have my model skin here, and then I just copy stuff on Illustrator. I think pictures, like yeah, I think it's a better way because you, then you can stick to you know your design. But it's also you can stick to the design, which is good. But also maybe it's like kind of a it's too you've got too many rules. So maybe you can just have like a sketch here 
and then copy it in Illustrator and then you know oh yeah I wanna oh maybe this is could, this could be like different if you have a you know a picture on your screen mm -hmm. you you then just gonna follow that picture so maybe your creativity is a little bit like it's not as free as it would be mm -hmm. if you just copy stuff from a piece of paper. I think like paper is like really important, like sketching before. It's it's like yep. great tip. They yeah, say. yeah. Okay, so okay. Um, I'm gonna move to your computer, if that's okay. Yeah. And yeah, you're so gonna be start, start yeah, work we decided. There and, then, and as we go on, maybe I can add. Let me see if I can add. Ah, uh, you cannot end the scene. Because hmm? we start from the same. Um, oh, okay. No? See, see, yeah. Title. Okay. Okay. So, I'm gonna... so yeah, we, we chose this main so, title. So, so, I'm gonna put both screens, okay? So, okay. Yes. basically, the big screen now is the Julia, and the small <laughs> screen is uh, Christine. Christine, yeah. Um, Maybe so, I should yeah. have a fifth screen, there, which is the, <laughs> the GoPro, but let's <laughs> go ahead. Yeah, so um, I put the title in the middle, so big, because I, I need to know uh, where to work on the posters. So, like, I need to, to, to know the, the shape of the, um, um, uh, of the letters with this kind of title. So, is and then I, I would change the letters with the Christina's letters. So just for the first step, and then I will use this this simple infographic just to pick the informations, and uh, it's infographic about one of the main uh, religion in which we can see like uh, the date of the, the the Luther Reformation and and what it created. Mm -hmm. like, um, a shield. <laughs> so I will start from this, and here is the picture of my drawing, which I put in Illustrator. And now I'm going to to draw on this picture, starting from the eye, because I choose to represent the Reformation as an eye, because in that period. Um, people became aware of themselves, actually. Um, so, I will start. <laughs> so when I sketch, so I just use like modules. So you just want to get an idea of the shape. It doesn't have to be like perfect. You just want to see how the shape looks like on, a, on paper. So you're going to do something like really quickly. So something like that. Maybe like. Like you said, you're concentrating on H, Y, P, and E. Yeah, yeah. And also, it's it's very important to I think um, work on the letters all together because one letter could be good on its own, but then it could be wrong or like I mean, it could look like really weird when with, with the other. So once you you get like your letters in Illustrator, then the second step is to try like real words or like fake words mm -hmm. to see how the letters are Interact together with each exactly other, yes. or like white space and then like if the hex height is right and everything else uh, yeah. So, yeah so from the H for example from this one so if I cover this I can get the end basically so you can actually see that if you cut here, you can get another letter. And if you copy this, you can get the M. So it's kind of a, you have to take all these elements and try to replicate them 
and like you can turn them even if I turn this so this is an H if I turn this this is Y mm -hmm. or this is a D this is a P or if you flip it, it could be a Q or like a B or whatever so what I've got here now so I've got I've set up a file on Illustrator let me move over. Yeah. So I'm 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 gonna design just the, the lowercase. So we're just gonna get the ascender x8 and this sender. So I've got the, the models we're gonna use for the surface. It's just gonna be very simple. So these black letters were like very square and like uh, sharp. So we want to get the same flavor. So I'm, try I'm, I'm trying to replicate now what I've got on paper on the screen and see how they look like and, mm -hmm. and see what we, how we going on. So, example here. So from here. Actually, let's work first, just not on a grid, let's see. Okay. I'll put Julia as a screen in the small one as well. Okay. If you want to talk a little bit about what you're doing, Julia. Um, just drawing lines at the moment. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm picking words from the, like, the graph and try to replicate it in a nicer way yeah. or floral way. <laughs> so just like joining these two things here, I can get an L maybe mm. or a part of the H for example. So once you've got this, it's very simple to just, you know, just copy this and then you can try in other letters. Like for example, we can get a T. So you just do that. Yeah. And then we'll make this a little bit make a two point okay. T let's try with the H okay. for Park on Diso I'm gonna put on <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Julia's screen bigger now <laughs> <laughs> so what's the what's the underlying idea here Julia I see the eye. Um, yeah, starting from the eye. So, um, so the reformation, the mm -hmm. protest. Um, I will follow the graph and I'm making some branches mm -hmm. and recreate the infographic. Not so boring, I hope, <laughs> <laughs> but something more close to the the mood board. We did here in Pinterest, so something more um, smooth. Mm. Logan is asking, do you ever run into conflicts when working in parallel like this? For example, Christina's type not fitting into Julia's illustrations? Uh, but, well, for this reason, we choose to try to create something like this. So from this sketch, I know that I will use this part like for the eye, maybe. Mm -hmm. And so... Um, and then Christina has to respect this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, otherwise. <laughs> and then we scream a lot when we work together. <laughs> yeah, let's say sometimes you have to find like a good compromise to kind of, uh, you know. Mm. Yeah, maybe I find, I find like, uh, the, the, like the best way ever and say, no, I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. 
Okay, but with the client, yes, of course. For sure. It's, it's a little bit different. A lot of hand movements. <laughs> yeah. So a good tip in Illustrator if you wanna if you wanna design something and wanna be sure that like everything is perfect and all like well aligned, you can work in the outline mode. Mm -hmm. So you can see everything. So outline mode for everybody like you've just used the um, a keyboard shortcut? Yeah, command Y. Command Y. Yeah. Yep. Or view outline mode. Yeah. Then if you you can activate like smart guides and you can actually see like you know, all the points and the anchor points. Uh, or you can do also like on edge to see like the edges and everything you've got here. But that's quite useful to avoid mistakes at the end. And like, you know, when you see like that here is not the line, you're like, yeah. oh, damn it. Yeah. And if like, if then you have to go back to each other letter that used the same base. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. And it's all like expanded already and you've got everything done. Yeah. And it's like, no. <laughs> So Vincent, Vincent is asking, I'm going to go back to you, Julia. Yeah. Is, uh, can you explain how you did the series of lines inside of the pupil? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So this part. Yes. Okay. So actually, just a circle. So here we have a center. And then I make the line. Give this clip. Oops. Then I select the line, I press R for rotation, and I just checked where the, the center is of the um, of the circle, mm -hmm. and then pressing pressing Alt, you can see the three dots, and clicking on the center with the three dots on, you can choose the angle. Actually, so you can see like the space between the two lines, and then you can select copy. So you have a copy of the line, and pressing Command D, you can copy in the same angle. And duplicate them. Duplicate them. Command yeah. D, duplicating. So if you do Command D forever, <laughs> <laughs> Mega said you they can work reach so fast. Aim. I like Yay. it. Yeah. <laughs> Is it too fast? Nah. Oh yeah, maybe it's now is automatically for me. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I know. This is why I. This yeah. is what that people ask. You know, like how did you do that? Of course, there's many other ways that you could do that. You know, you can use the appearance panel to duplicate a line. Yeah, uh, there's many different ways, and that's so, so it's such a cool thing in these uh, in these live streams is that you, we see you know so many different ways to do so many different things. So we have to call to call you for some tips, actually. To call me? Uh, yeah. Why? Some shortcut. Uh, ah, something. shortcuts. No, I'm not a shortcut person because I always have to show how things work. So uh, I used to be a shortcut person, you know, when I was in production. I had my when company in, in Italy, and when I had to be fast. Um, but now I have to show how things work. So using shortcuts on the keyboard is uh, yeah. is not the best yeah. way yeah. for people to understand what I was doing. Yeah. So I've become a menu person. Most of it's like <laughs> some shortcuts are like all the, all your fingers, and yeah, yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. like too mm -hmm. hard to. So Lauren says, have you done a lot of pre-planning before starting this video or do you to figure out what you're going to do? Or, or I think, you know, like Lauren says, I think that takes most of the time, like planning. Yeah. Have you planned this like for days or hours? Not for days, or but we minutes? wanted to show something significant. So with, yeah. a, with a meaning. Hmm. So for us, Martin Luther, like, um, like the anniversary was a kind of sign. Mm -hmm. So because it's a great step for the graphic design as well. So, um, and and even the the lettering or uh, the typography or the style of the tears like, was amazing. So mm. we said, why not? Huh? Just try. 
And yeah, sure, of course, you have to be prepared. <laughs> yeah, of course, but um, actually, not so much. But yeah. It was pretty fast. But yeah, I saw you out there sitting on the couches and saying. But for me, after <laughs> one year working with uh, infographics, mm -hmm. everything yeah, it became very fast. So. Yeah, the, the first that, step, yeah. the concept is yeah. like main thing. Yeah, but the worst part, like the part that takes not takes, the worst, yeah, but it takes a lot of time. time. Just is because you want to do like something in, you know, which is interesting and which is yeah, like yeah. a good concept, and you want to actually say something with your design. So it's, mm -hmm. you have to think, and then you have to start from a concept always. Yes. And if you have this is something that you know that I think it's a very important point is to uh, always give yourself a brief, even yeah, if it's an yeah, open exactly. project. Yeah, that's true. So Vanessa, that's a good question. Uh, is there a way to see the topics of the presentations that are listed in the schedule? So basically these Adobe live streams uh, work like this. We have uh, four guests. In this case, we have five guests because uh, they're working together, but we have four different slots during the day. Uh, we stream about eight hours a day for three days. And basically each artist, designer, illustrator comes back uh, every day for two hours. And um, uh, some of them uh, choose to work on one project that spans over the three days, just like uh, Julia and Christina here. Um, others prefer to do one project a day. Uh, so it, it all depends. It's really up to our guests uh, uh, to see what they're doing. But what you can get from uh, the title of the live stream uh, that it's all about, um, you know, graphic design. And um, uh, in, in this case, there's other streams that are about motion graphics, there are streams that are about uh, uh, digital imaging. So there's uh, UX design, for example, as well. So there's a, a whole bunch of different things that happen here on adobelive.com. Ololade, great, first time here, welcome. <laughs> so great to see so many of you here for the first time and so many of you who re return every time it's also cool Ibrahim Ibrahim Hajo welcome back Ryan Well, Jeffrey, you see, uh, Jeffrey Lee, that's that's a good point as well. It's interesting to see live workflows like this. Uh, it really helps to understand uh, and, you know, uh, to compare, you know, how things are, are being done. And this is exactly why we do these live streams is because there's so many different ways to uh, to do things. And it's actually, I think, the best way to, to actually learn is to actually see, you know, uh, creative professionals um, applying uh, their skills to create something. So Vanessa, yes, I could. Uh, let's we can re-elaborate that. I will start uh, on the importance of creating a brief, even on an open-ended project. The thing is that um, if you don't give yourself a brief, if you don't give yourself some boundaries, like you know, uh, like who is it for? What colors I'm going to be using? What type typography style will I be using? What um, what I want to communicate? What what is it I want to communicate? If you don't give yourself these palettes. Um, then it's so open-ended that you will never, um, you know, either be satisfied with your solution or uh, e even come to a solution. So basically, I always call this like creating yourself a box so that you have a box where you can actually think inside of that box. And then when needed, you can think outside of that box. But at least you have a box that, that gives you a, a framework of what, you, what you're planning to do. And I think this is a very... Um, uh, important thing also in uh, in uh, in projects that um, you know that that personal projects. Mm -hmm. 
Well, thanks, Lauren, for hitting the subscribe button. Yes, please do subscribe to the Creative Cloud YouTube channel. There's a button here on adobelive.com at the bottom left of the screen that enables you to do just that. And the cool thing about that is actually there's several things. Uh, first of all, you can actually also on YouTube, there's a little bell that you can hit and uh, that will actually alert you every time uh, the uh, Creative Cloud YouTube channel is live. And uh, you know that's kind of cool when you have a you know have five minutes to actually come into the stream and see what's happening, and interact with people in the chat, and also whenever we do um, uh, our giveaways, and we're going to be doing a giveaway quite soon. Uh, um, uh, actually, what um, people who are subscribed to the Creative Cloud YouTube channel have five times more chances to uh, to win at those uh, at those automatic giveaways. So yes, Danielle, the uh, the top window. I'm gonna I'm gonna switch now because we've been watching um, Julia uh, work. Oh, I'm like doing my trackpad, like trying to command another computer. That's not gonna work. Let me just switch here and go back to um, to Christina's computer because she's designing the letters that are gonna be used yeah. in uh, in that poster that we're working on. Yeah. Yeah. So once. Once, oh, you've, like it. <laughs> <laughs> what? once you've got, oh, once you've got like um, an idea of like how the letter is gonna look like, you can then work on like few variation and see, mm -hmm. like white spaces. Like if you want to get this, or if you want to just get the Y without a line here, uh, and then when you put everything together, you're gonna ask you, okay, is this gonna be legible or not? Is mm -hmm. this gonna be enough? Mm -hmm. Is this gonna is this going to be like a why or is this like how does it look like mm -hmm. so it's very important to like try different variations, different variations yeah. yeah also like do i want the typeface to be like going on the left side like this one or do i want the typeface to just go more on the right side so if i do change this for example Yeah, you do that, I can get something like that. Let's get this one, but this is this looks weird, so let's try. Let's start with this one. Yeah, this mm -hmm. this looks nice. There is something weird happening here because I think these are aligned, but this looks it's more on the left. This is because, yeah, we're gonna just move it a little bit more on the right. Maybe a little bit up. I mean, we're gonna fix this anyway later on and see, like, all the like shapes mm -hmm. and the white space, like, properly. Like, also here you see that this is, this looks weird. So this looks actually higher than the one on the left. So we want this to be a little bit lower. I mean, it, it, it's like typeface or like designing letters, it's a little bit of, it's a combination in between like something geometric maybe like that, but you have to think about the type, typography is also like something um, intuitive, mm -hmm. so it's not all like geometry, sometimes you need like optical adjustments to just be sure that the letters is easy, readable, and that actually looks that it like makes right. sense. Yeah, yeah. that mm. makes sense, actually. So. so I think we've got enough for the Y here. We're going to do the same with the H here. So we're going to copy this. Gonna move over to Julia for a second. It's boring. More lines. <laughs> if it's boring, let's create a flower. <laughs> let's create a flower. That is boring as well. But <laughs> yeah, because for the for this part, I just just. Um, 
can I say, like uh, straight lines or semicircle or a quarter mm -hmm. of a circle. But for the flower, we use the pen. So maybe it's much more. But you can see my hand a bit. Winston says, not boring, <laughs> Julia. <laughs> <laughs> so Winston is asking, Christina, do you ever incorporate curves in, in your lettering? Yes, but yeah. not in this case. Yeah, not in this case. Yes. Why? Yeah. We want to create like there you go. something really <laughs> sharp and like square. Yes. To kind of a... Yes, we decided that at the very beginning of the stream yeah. where we actually, and that was part of the brief. Let's keep yeah, it very exactly. sharp and clean. Yeah. I think smooth shapes is gonna come from Julia in graphics. Uh, okay. So we're gonna mm -hmm. merge that okay. something really sharp with like mm -hmm. yeah, and guys, flower style. Yeah. This was the Luther Bible. So yeah. Yeah, here it is. Oh, there's Oh, and Logan is paying attention. You know, like this is so cool about the the chat is that you know, like people ask questions in the chat, and people in the chat give answers. You know, we can we might as well just, <laughs> Great. just shut up yeah. and uh, <laughs> just you know be busy with our lives. <laughs> we nailed it! <laughs> My God, I love this. I, I want to share it with you. <laughs> Hey, Robzilla in the house. Robzilla, Thanks. Robert. Robert Jenneret the third is also is you know a very talented uh, illustrator. Okay. Oh, but wow. he's also uh, he's sometimes on the stream with us. Okay. And, but he spends a lot of time in the chat as well. So wow. yeah. So I want to remind everybody that on adobelive.com there is a button on the uh, bottom uh, right of the screen that says get the template. And basically what you need to do is to download that template that we're providing. It's an illustrator file. And uh, the rules that need to be applied to that template are actually in the illustrator file. So you need to open it and, uh, and uh, we will be choosing how many at the end of the week? We're going to be choosing 30 of the best uh, re, uh, what it would, mashups. Can we say that? No, not really mashup. Like fix the poster. Fix the poster. Yeah, yeah, it's a fix a poster um, uh, thing that we're doing here. So mm -hmm. basically, it's a very basic uh, poster that we're providing. Something that's happening at Rufus's place, I've read. Uh, and, uh, and basically what we ask you to do is to fix the poster and submit it to us, to, uh, either on Twitter or on Instagram using the Adobe Live hashtag. Okay, so download the, uh, the, uh, that, that template and we're gonna be choosing 30 um, uh, winners. I think the first, the first 10, 10 ones will, the first 10 will get a Creative Cloud subscription with a whole bunch of Adobe stock credits. The next, so from 11 to 20, will get Creative Cloud subscription. And from 21 to 30, we'll get a poster, a printed poster of something uh, that will be created during this week. Okay, so download that template and get creative. There's also a share your portfolio button down there. And basically what that does, it opens a little window with a pre-compiled tweet where you can insert the address to your portfolio so that you know we can ask our guests in this case uh christina and julia to actually look at the portfolios i'm going to be checking yeah. that in a second and i think uh let me see if nightbot is open for business here is nightbot open for business is it on my screen or is it on your screen you have it okay 
So let me decide what I want to do. You guys continue working. I'm going to switch screens in a second because people have been watching uh, Julia. And let's see what, what you're up to, Christina. I love these duplicate screens things. It's really kind of <laughs> cool. Yeah, so much stuff to see. I mean, yeah. woohoo! <laughs> Oh, Vincent says, I have a few tattoo artist friends who told me they have used Illustrator to design. I didn't believe how they could do it. Amazing stuff, Christina and Julia. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my God, I can pass two hours to do this flow. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. All right. Okay, you need to be very quick here. Um, the question for the next giveaway and we'll be giving away a creative a one-year subscription to Adobe Creative Cloud okay so what is the music instrument present in the contest template what's the music instrument there yep <laughs> all you need to do is <laughs> open the template and, you know, you have to open it anyway because you're going to be uh, working on it to make it better. So, good luck, everyone. And we have Nightbot. Nightbot is an automated system uh, that not only monitors the chat here, you know, for people like writing stuff in all caps and, uh, and you know, being rude to them. Um, it also allows us to pick winners out of the chat that give the correct answer. And remember what I said before, if you are a subscriber of the Creative Cloud YouTube channel, um, yeah, you have five times more chances to actually win in these, uh, in these giveaways. Somebody wrote the flute. Uh, which template did they open? Guitar, 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 guitar. <laughs> nice try. Nice try, but it's not a flute. Okay, so all of you who are giving the right answer, can you look me in the eye and tell me, Rufus, I did open the template. <laughs> or am I just copying whatever everybody else is saying? <laughs> all right, Nightbot, let's hear the winner. And basically what we're gonna be asking the winner to do is to give their Twitter handle here inside of the chat so that we can contact them to give them all of the information they need to claim their prize. Acoustic guitar. Yes. Is it an acoustic guitar? It like is a classic guitar. It, it, uh, I don't know. It's a guitar. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Daphne, cowbell. That good try. <laughs> ah, now they're saying, yes, sir, I did open the, the template. <laughs> <laughs> I had Joe, you can send me a screenshot of the open template. No, I believe you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Nightbot. Let's hear it for the winner. Yes. Claude Pierre. All right, 
Claude Pierre. Claude Pierre, congratulations. You just won yourself a one year subscription to Adobe Creative Cloud. So what you need to do, um, I, I need to read the name here. Uh, Claude Pierre. Claude Pierre, what you need to do is to um, uh, send us your Twitter handle here in the chat so that we can contact you. Claude, Claude Pierre. Claude Pierre. Creative Cloud. Creative Cloud. <laughs> yeah, Creative Cloud. Creative Cloud, yeah. Swift screens again. Yeah, Danielle, it doesn't matter if you answer it first. <laughs> no, everybody gets a chance. So, Claude Pierre, we need your Twitter handle here in the chat. Don't be sad, Femi. There will be other chances. <laughs> And remember, we're giving away, you know, thanks to 30, to the best 30 um, uh, template. There's already an entry on Twitter. There's an entry on Twitter? Okay. Oh, okay. Twitter, here. You got it? Claude, Claude Pierre. Okay, thank you, thank you, man. We'll be contacting you via Twitter. To uh, Michael Shays will actually contact you to tell you what you need to do to claim your prize. Yes, there's a lot of accents here, Logan. There's French accents, there's Italian <laughs> accents, and there's Luca. Sorry. Luca, who says Christina's English is terrible. Probably Luca is somebody, somebody who knows you. <laughs> <laughs> because you're. Oh, uh, I think. Is, is this logo here? LB? Do you know that? Uh, no. no. So nice. <laughs> yeah, Luca. Luca, yeah. So because it was, it was such a me. nice comment. Yeah. Can, we, can we click on the logo and see who's. Oh, no. Let's oh. see who that is. <laughs> Luca? I have no idea. No. No. I don't know. Oh, no. Luca follows Stephanie, so he must be. Uh, Stephanie is a you know it's a it's a, it's a YouTube personality in Italy. Oh, two point okay. four million wow. followers. Okay, <laughs> you know better than us. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, my fourteen-year-old kid follows Stephanie. So. <laughs> so, LB, thank you for your nice comment. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> well, Victor, what font are you using? Uh, oh, which font are you using right now? Uh, uh, I don't know. Is me? It, yeah, is it just? It's a Roboto. Uh, what? Roboto. Roboto? Yeah. It's in Adobe. <laughs> yeah. Christy, Christy K, I can say with with uh, quite confidence that you did not win. No, not this time. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, HR, what are the what the, what's the inspiration behind the style and everything? So basically, uh, what um, uh, Christina and Julia did, they put together a Pinterest board with all you know all of the things that uh, you know could inspire them to uh, to create this infographic and poster uh, for the 500th. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Uh, Be precise. Yes, anniversary of. Uh, when Martin, Martin Luther, Luther. Uh, yeah. nailed the 95 thesis okay. yeah. on the Wittenberg <laughs> Cathedral. <laughs> Do they know who is Martin Luther? I hope so. What? Study? <laughs> mm.
No, Yorgos, uh, you can you can submit as many as you want. Uh, you can, you know, and but only the best 30 will be picked. Yeah, right, Hector? They're loving the geometric feel of the infographic. It's all coming together, just like the sketch that, uh, that Julia did. Yeah. Mais non, RH, moi j'ai dit Claude, parce que c'est Claude, c'est pas Claude, c'est C-L-O-D-D. Hein? C'est Claude, c'est pas Claude. Yeah, Christopher, it looks very similar to classic calligraphy, but with a yeah. modern twist. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> uh oh. Yeah, and Eric is in the house. Who's Eric? Hmm? Who's Eric? Yeah, Eric. A uh, long time follower. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> Such a long time follower, he's even a moderator. Wow. Yeah got promoted. <laughs> Merci Guerou. What are they making? They're making a poster and uh, they're splitting the work while Christina is working on the type the element of the poster. Julia is actually working on an infographic uh, of uh, that's going to be, you know, talking a little bit about the history of the reform. Reformation or reform? Reformation? Yeah. Okay, now people are starting to freak out. Like <laughs> Fred Jones. Have you saved? Yes, many yeah. times. Like ah, <laughs> okay. They <laughs> save all the time. No, because, you know, we have so many streamers that never save. No. And, and people, people freak out, you know, like, have you saved? Well, no. Yeah, they can't see our, our fingers, but I'm like pressing my like, command S like uh, uh, yes, automatically. All the time. Yeah. Automatically, <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, Valentina, Valentina Marella says for Julia. <laughs> Are you know Valentina? Yeah, it's my name. Uh, <laughs> okay, so your friend Valentina. <laughs> How is it possible to create an infographic full of information but that can be easily understood from a design point of view? Very good job, girls. <laughs> Brave. <laughs> what I understand is easy to understand. <laughs> so actually, you have to study an infographic. So, um, like the client or a book or a source can be full of data. And you can do many steps, you know, you can just elaborate it as a a straight infographic like this one, mm -hmm. uh, which I made before um, making the floral one that is more, I don't want to say artistic, but I like more free mm -hmm. than this one. And and then you are actually to study, study the, the so maybe the data, the, um, the years, so, or what's happening in that period, or and the flowing, and then just transfer it from this shape mm. to the other one with your own style. Transforming. So 
this is a poster, so we are aware that it's not for a book or mm -hmm. for yeah. um, children or maybe um, people didn't want to. I'm just gonna move over to, uh, to Christina because Logan is asking Christina. Do you normally take steps to make the typeface uniform as you work or do you pick your favorite at the end and then take steps to make them more uniform? Uh, yeah, I think I usually pick the, my favorite at the end and then um, mm. I work on the, on, on the ones I mm. think are good enough to like work on then, yeah. Uh, but I mean, it, it, I think it depends on what kind of typeface you're designing and what's the process because mm -hmm. it's not always like same thing maybe like I can do that with this typeface but maybe if I'm designing something else and more complicated mm -hmm. maybe I need to like divide the you know the work in more steps and then just see how we how I, how I go on yeah yeah there is no like a yeah I don't think there's like a rule to like do stuff it's just just have to feel, you know, when mm -hmm. this is ready and this is like good enough, and then you just move on and uh, and go. So I think I think these letters, I think, I think they are good enough to then um, start working on all the other ones. So I've done few like, yeah, I've designed like few like variations for each one of these. But like this one looks looks a bit weird because it's like too there is not much space here, so I don't think this is good. I don't want this to go like left and right, so I want the typeface to just have like one direction, mm -hmm. uh, not like the <laughs> the <What>? top <laughs> group. <laughs> um, and um, same with this. So for example, this one it looks too much like a B. So I don't think this is, yeah, good enough. So maybe, I don't like this one because it looks like he's walking like, I don't know, left and right at the same time. So maybe this is a good one. Where you have like, you've got enough space here to differentiate this one from a B, which could be this one, basically. Um, and then, you know, you can just copy paste these shapes and just make all the letters like N. I think this is a good one. And then from the N, you can just get the you can get the R. Just do this. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. um, or you can, if you do comments, if you press Alt and duplicate that, you can like, get like an M. So you could just delete this. So with like yeah, it's pretty easy with like yeah. geometric typeface because mm -hmm. it's like all because this is based on like modules, so yeah. you, you can just you know duplicate stuff and mm -hmm. then just adjust all the spacing and the white space and everything. Um, so this is could this could be like a W. You rotate this, for example, mm -hmm. or we can get a U from there. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. For either that one, or we can then get. If you want the typeface to look more on the right, we can just adjust this one in here. Cool. Yeah. So there's another Julia on the stream. It says. Hey Julia, <laughs> she says, uh, looking forward to the stream next week because next week we have a stream in German. Wow. So, uh, so I will be here again with German guests speaking German with a German speaking co-host. And uh, basically uh, Julia here will be streaming with us. But the cool thing is that Julia uh, spent a lot of time watching our streams. And she even watched so much that at in the end she even won a Creative Cloud subscription. <laughs> wow! And I was like going through Behance looking for for uh, talented German uh, designers, and then I said, "Oh, but I know, I know this upside down face. I've seen it somewhere." And uh, and then I contacted her, and and then it turned out that she's been following us. She's even won a Creative Cloud, and now she'll be streaming with us. 
next week That's in great. German. Oh. Yeah. So we're we'll looking forward you. to that too. <laughs> yeah. Julia. Julia in German. Julia. Mm -hmm. So do you speak German? Yes. How many languages do you speak? German, Italian, French and English. That's it. Wow. <laughs> I think that's enough. <laughs> Spanish? I understand Spanish, yes. But obviously. So, um, <laughs> Antonio <laughs> says, greetings from Italy. Hi, Antonio. <laughs> yes, I can reveal who will be the German calls be. Um, Rebecca Strauss. Or now she's uh, married, maybe. Uh, uh, anyway, I think on you, on uh, and uh, you can find her on Google. Rebecca Strauss. So Janet, say. Oh well, first of all, Janet. Uh, thank you for coming back. I know that you came in during the first part, uh, the first stream of the day, which had a little bit of issues. So thank you for coming back into the stream. Uh, and she's asking for you, Christina, when you design typeface for a specific project, do you create all of the characters in a typical typeface or just those you need? Well, it, it depends on which project mm. you're working on. If, well, if I'm working on the logo type, I'm probably just going to design the letters I need for the logo type. Um, if I'm gonna work like on a magazine or something, I wanna design like a typeface for a headline, I, I would probably mm -hmm. design the whole typeface. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Because you, you need to, as I was saying before, to see like all the letters together to just get a you know, sense. Yeah, and plus you never know at, if at the last minute the client says, oh, but can we, yeah. it's, can we use that other word? No, you can't. <laughs> no, you no. can't. No. <laughs> can we change these like into, like, no, please. Yeah. Yeah. So always better to like design yeah. the whole thing yeah. so mm -hmm. you're going to be safe because clients, they always change their mind at the yes. end. Like, yes, they always At the very do. end, like midnight, uh -huh. you know, before the deadline or what, when exactly. you're printing. Mm -hmm. well, actually, can I change this? Yes. Are nice. you still awake? <laughs> <laughs> of course, always. Like dot dots. So, Erat, yes, we are live from Paris, where it is currently seven, quarter past seven in the yeah. evening. Yes, and we will be live until midnight, Central yeah. European time. So, there's still a lot that we're going to be streaming today. It's just, just the beginning, just the beginning. It's day one of three days of intensive streaming uh, here from uh, on Adobe Live. Mm -hmm. So 27th letter, yes, how do you get notified of live streams in other languages? I only get notifications of the English presentations, but myself speak several languages as well and would love to be notified. So basically when we do streams in German, we actually stream from the Adobe Deutschland uh, YouTube channel. Okay, so that's where you should subscribe um, and turn on the little bell and you will be uh, you will be uh, notified. And. Uh, Yes, when we do uh, German, I mean language-specific um, streams, just such as the German one, we actually stream at more humane times, like from <laughs> 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. every yeah. day, Central European time. So there is no night shift on the on the uh, German live stream. Yes, there will be a night shift today. <laughs> The night shift, we typically call the night shift our last guest of the day, which here in Paris means streaming from 10 p.m. to midnight. Yes. She's that's, amazing. That's, yeah. me, that's when my, uh, you know, my, how do you say the Mia Zucca <laughs> is waiting outside. Midnight. Midnight, I have yeah. to go. Yeah. <laughs> Well, Ashyam. Hello from Dubai. A question. What is the scope for designers in the future for young graduates? I mean, yeah, okay. So basically the question is, you know, what, what's the future of design for whoever is entering the field? And I think it's huge. It's, 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 there's never been a better time to be a designer, I think. 
uh, because there's so many different things that people ask for uh, yeah. and there's so many different ways to design and there has never been in, in the history of humankind so many possibilities for people designers from all over the world to actually do significant work simply because they're talented and uh, be because you know just 10 15 years ago you had to go to london you had to go to amsterdam you had to go to new york exactly. you had to yeah. go to san francisco los angeles to get the cool jobs you don't have to do that anymore um now you can uh, you can be creative from anywhere and by using platforms such as behance uh you know you can be discovered by by big big accounts and we have this, yeah, we have this example of this guy in uh, in Egypt who, you know, had really cool illustrations and an agency in London discovered him. Uh, and uh, that, that guy in Egypt who, who you know, who was never, you know, in London or uh, like in, in the big cities um, actually got to do the album cover for Pink Floyd, you know, the last wow. album, you know. So, so it's amazing stuff okay. that's happening around the yeah. world. So I think the time has never been better to be yeah. a designer. Yeah, but you should study a little bit of everything. Actually, mm -hmm. I think I don't know. It's my opinion. It's like yeah, a bit yeah. of three D, mm -hmm. a bit of processing or coding mm -hmm. or everything. History. Oh, history! <laughs> yes, absolutely. I think, but that's you know that's a rule for I think every creative field is that um, you're only as creative as the things you've seen, heard, or, or you know, or spoken. So. Uh, uh, Yes, the more the more you learn, the more you spend time looking at other things, the more your cultural baggage becomes bigger and uh, lets you, you know, do great, make great design decisions. Yeah. I don't know, Carrie, what it was, what it is I just said. <laughs> oh, how can I be discovered? Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, I was talking about a, our platform called Behance. And Behance is, uh, is also the place where we've seen the portfolios of uh, Christina and Julia. Yeah. Um, and uh, basically, um, Behance is increasingly a place where agencies find talent, um, or you know, or where customers find the talent. Behance.com is part of the Creative Cloud as well. So many letters so fast let me go <laughs> let's have a quick look at what uh, what Julia's doing Zoom. I don't know if you notice how I did the flower <laughs> 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 not because it's an interesting um, did you do it line by it? line no do you use the blend tool? Yeah, exactly. Ah, the blend tool. So. Our favorite tool. We love the blend tool here in the <laughs> chat. Me too. Yes. So many cool things you can do with the blend tool. Yeah, exactly. So I didn't join the two lines. Just I left them separately. Separate, sorry. And then I blend it. You see? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, of course. That's how it works. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So Mohammed here says, I'm from Morocco and I have, I have clients from all over the world. My last two projects that I did work uh, right now in France and in Romania. Good for you, Mohammed. You see, that's how it works. And hello, Missile. Welcome back. Yes, Joshua. That's right. Behance.net. I said Behance.com. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe Behance.com works as well. But yes, it is Behance.net or B.net. It redirects. Okay. Ah, so it wasn't it wasn't such a big mistake.
So Annette, uh, welcome to the stream. Don't fall for the traps that Jan Eric sets in the chat here. Because <laughs> Jan Eric says, uh, was was it Martin Luther that did some sort of a Christian reform or something? <laughs> and Annette says, yes, he did from the Catholic Church. Well, it didn't need to answer that, but very kind of you to have Great. that. <laughs> and, and yes, Jan Eric behave. <laughs> so Logan says, Julia, I don't know what you're doing or how you're doing it, but it looks magical. <laughs> wow. What was that dialog menu you just had open to create those lines? Well, it's the blend tool. The if, blend you, tool. if you yeah. double click on the blend tool, that's what you get. So if I release it, we have just two lines actually. Hey, Mr. Tom, welcome to the stream. Mr. Tom, that's my son. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> you see Florence? Yes. Oh. Ciao. <laughs> <laughs> so Clemens is asking, could you walk us through your client workflow revision process? How does it usually work? It's a mess. It's a mess, <laughs> yes. Well, <laughs> like, never like, happy. <laughs> yeah, like 10 reviews. Like, you agree, like, with like three reviews, and then you ended up with like 10 or like 12 uh -huh, or something. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Usually, like. Do you five... charge for the other seven? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, usually. Or at least you try. Yeah, <laughs> at least you try, and then, like, you know. And they say no. <laughs> <laughs> you have to find a compromise and. Um, <laughs> But yeah. you, you have to merge what you like and what mm. they like. They like. Yeah. So mm -hmm. It's always about that compromise. Yes. Um, because sometimes, like you know, they like they like I crazy the logo ideas. Like, I want the, <laughs> yes. I want the logo bigger yeah. and. When you comic sans and you say, well, actually, uh, you know, like let's mm, use lobster instead. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so main, yeah, to, to answer, so what was the question? Like, how, how does that work? Like, the, all the review and um, with clients? Yes. Yeah, so you, well, how, how, how do we do that? Well, Usually, it depends yeah. on the project, but yeah. for instance, I did three, I did, um, I had to do a book cover for a mm -hmm. client. So I did three different drafts of them and maybe one that I like, <laughs> one that they like, yeah. and one in the middle. And then they decide, like, maybe I like more the third one, but with the look and feel the second one, yeah. but I prefer the first one. The first one. So, yeah. Or I like them all, and can you just put everything together? And like, eh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so you go ahead with one of them, actually, and yeah. and it's with it. Yeah. And then until they, they, they say, they sent a contact with me. Okay, <laughs> it's fine. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> oh, Jan, Eric, I love you though. Rufus is so strict towards me. It's almost <laughs> as if I were his son. No. <laughs> Great, great, great. I love seeing the progress on this. Let's move back to to you, Christina. Come on, where's my mouse? Where's my mouse? Oh, here we go. So we have a few letters here. So they are like not aligned, but we're gonna do the alignment later mm -hmm. on. We're just gonna wanna get like on the baseline. You mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. The X A, the mm -hmm. you know, the ascender and descender, mm -hmm. which is gonna want the letters to be like all kind of the same uh, but I usually start first with just designing like throwing on the screen everything I think of mm -hmm. and then I'm gonna choose like my favorite ones and then work on the other final ones later on Go 
Alligators hier. Hier. Wow. Well, Missil, I don't think we can start a club, uh, the Rufus Timed Me Out Club, because I only ever timed out one person. <laughs> Just one person. <laughs> So what you guys can do is a, is like a support club for Jan Eric. <laughs> We're with you, Jan Eric. Rufus is a bad person. He should never have timed you out. Have you ever designed Ar Arabic characters? No, never. That yeah. would be awesome, like, actually. Uh, right? Yeah. Yeah. Or or Oriental, like Chinese or Japanese, no, Korean. Never. Oh, that would be great, actually. Yeah. yeah. Arabic, like, the, I think it's like all together or like mm -hmm. merged yeah, yeah, together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's yeah, like it's, super interesting. Yeah. Actually, I, I always feel like wonder like, yeah, how is it to design? How would we like to design like a mm -hmm. different? alphabet like from mm -hmm. Latin yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, like Arabic or like mm -hmm. Chinese or it's, yeah it's really yes fabitalism if you come over to um, uh, adobe live.com there's a button on the lower uh, part of the screen on the right that says get the template and those of you who have just joined us here on the stream there's an ongoing um, uh, competition here it's called get the template and basically what we provide you with is an illustrator file that you need to open it's a pretty badly designed poster uh, that we need you to fix and then post the fixed poster with your colors your fonts your images uh, to Twitter or Instagram using the Adobe live hashtag hashtag Adobe live all right but in any case all of the instructions on how to use the um, uh, the template and what to do and what to do with the uh, with the result is all inside of the uh, of the illustrator file so check it out because there's going to be 30 lucky winners at the end of the week on Friday Michael Shez will actually um, uh, post a uh, post about them on his twitter feed m shares and there's gonna be 30 winners 10 people will get a one year subscription to creative cloud plus a whole bunch of um, uh, adobe stock credit uh, the other uh, 10 people like from uh, 11 to 20 will get a one year subscription to creative cloud and the last 10 from 21 to 30 will get um, uh, a poster that one of the things that we produced this week over this uh, during the stream with one of our guests maybe it's you Julia and Christina yeah. you know maybe yeah. it's your poster that we're gonna be printing at the end and sending out to people uh, so uh, so yes please please um, uh, enter the creative poster contest All right, Jan Eric, go outside and take photos for the photography class assignment. <laughs> That's great.
Have you saved? Yes. <laughs> save, 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 save. save. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Can you give me one letter? Which one do you need? No, nothing for, for the moment. But if you want, we can. Mm, no, no, yeah. <laughs> Clemens is asking: Have you guys decided for a ski for a color scheme yet for the poster? Um, well, we we started at home <laughs> <laughs> because now I change it like after an hour. I think we started with. Um, uh, the red, the red and the black, because they were the the colors of the Luther Bible. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we started. Let me with go to your screen so colors. people can see your Pinterest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we started with this color to to be more close to, <laughs> to the spirit. Mm -hmm. the spirit. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> yes, lo spirito. <laughs> lo spirito. Um, yeah, but um, I think the the third day we we change we will change everything. Yeah, mm -hmm. and to make everything more modern and good. And no, Janet, we don't yet contemplate prizes for the worst <laughs> correction to the poster. No, not yet. See you later, Jan Eric. You know we're here until midnight. You know, time flies. We have yeah. only like 15 wow. more minutes together today. This is crazy. It's crazy, wow. right? Yeah. What we are gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> well, Olare says, Julia, I must follow you on Twitter. Your work is amazing. Well, follow Julia on, uh, on um, uh, let me, Behance. Let me just put that Behance. Or Instagram or Tumblr or <laughs> yeah, that's Christina and uh, this is Julia. Post it twice. Okay. And I see that neither of you, Christina or Julia, have actually created the Adobe portfolio. Sorry? You have not created an Adobe portfolio. No, not no. yet. Yeah. Not yet. It's pretty cool. We have to. Yeah. yeah. Have no, you tried no. it? No, no, no. No, no time. No time because we don't have any time for that stuff. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but it's actually pretty cool. So you can actually you can create it from your Behance yes. mm -hmm. um, yeah, yeah, yeah. page, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you can choose from a variety of templates and things that you can then you know. And it's the cool yeah. thing is that it's mobile friendly. So okay. it is, uh, you know, res oh, uh, responsive. Yeah. Yeah, read it. yeah, we have to do that. Ah, no, I know. <laughs> no time, no. Right, Carrie, I love, I love the clicking of the mouse during the streams. That's, I think it's very zen. It's very... Is it? Yeah, it is. No, it yeah. is, it is. Yeah. And I don't know, is there music? I don't know, is the music on in the background? Which instrument? The mouse. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, there is a little bit, of, little bit of music. So there's a little bit of chill music and, and the clicking of the mouse. No. <laughs> we should play with the mouse, like you know, like to like learn yeah, something. But we we'll play with the mouse every day, <laughs> 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 like you make a song or something. So I'm trying to um, just see how. The letters looks like all together mm -hmm. so just got like fake words like psu or something blah blah, blah. see how hello looks like 
and see if they look all the same because mm -hmm. we we are doing like a, a family like a font so we want the letters to be like kind of all the same and be part of of the same like style getting okay, some Ariel also says, I love mouse clicking. <laughs> yeah, so soothing. Yeah, just wonder like what what do you guys listen to like when, when you when you work? Like because sometimes mouse clicking is enough. Mm -hmm. You know, like yeah. it's very like relaxing and but sometimes you need like Carmina Burana. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So in the chat, what what do you guys listen to while you're working? Uh, you know, apart for the Adobe live streams, of course. <laughs> and Justin Bieber. So I know you know many people are multitasking, so they have like the Adobe live stream on the screen. They work. Wow. No, no, because of course you can't just sit there and watch the stream <laughs> like this. Okay. So basically, you leave it on. Yeah. You listen to it. So are you guys also listening to music? Yeah. What are you listening to? I usually listen to podcasts. Like, I don't know. Oh, okay. like, yeah. uh, ah, but podcasts, you have to think too much, right? Yeah, it, it depends. You have, to, you have to follow. Yeah, sometimes, yeah, it depends. If I'm like on an easy task, I can like listen to podcasts. If, I'm, if I need like concentration, I just. So listen. there's people who live, listen yeah. to the Beatles, uh, wow. jazz, metal, of course. Jim the Rocker, okay, wow. uh, of course, metal. metal. Podcasts. <laughs> 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 I go study, Mr. Tom. All right, Mr. Tom, go study, okay? Make your dad proud. All right, image first. Images first. Just curious. But why is she not using the Pathfinder tool to combine any shapes in the lettering? Not yet. Not or yet. Or maybe not even, ever. Not yet. You know? Because we... We're gonna change these letters mm -hmm. like quite a lot. So, uh -huh, exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so you you, you want to keep like everything like changeable. Um, I, yeah, you should expand like stuff at the very end because mm -hmm. I want to be sure that okay, this yeah. is good. This is how it this I want this to be, and then when I'm happy with that, mm -hmm. and then just expand everything and just uh, like use the Python and like merge like shapes, but not yet, not yet. Oh, Jim the Rocker <laughs> listens to, to to metal and Netflix. Okay, while oh, watching Netflix. while watching Adobe um, Live. All right. Oh, that's that's really that's extreme. <laughs> no, Mohammed House Trans Techno. Uh, oh, and who's House that? Jere Jere says never mouse click. Mute Wacom pen. So that's even more wow. sense. Like. Yeah. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> Classical music. Chris Downs. Annette, same here. Metal gets the creativity going. Alex ran at Spotify. You find a lot of women that works in this field. That works. Graphic designer. Yes. 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 Uh, as many as uh, guys. Yeah. Mm. Right. Like in the streams, you mean? Yeah. Like mm, yeah. In your research. Well, last stream we had was oh, only yeah. girls. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fifty. Years. Yeah. 
So Daphne Lee, is there a rule of thumb for kerning or is it just eyeballing to see what looks good? <laughs> well, there are rules, uh, you know, basically the rules based on areas uh, of, uh, of, you know, it's like figure ground, like differences between black and white uh, but basically it's got a lot to do with eyeballing as well because it what looks good what looks balanced yeah mm-hmm. yeah it's sort of a, like perception basically. yes mm-hmm. um, but but kerning is what takes most most of the time yeah. away for any type yeah. designer it takes ages actually you can spend like one year just kerning yeah and yeah, and... because that's the thing, right? Because you have, if you if you're gonna start kerning, like do proper kerning, you have to to take each letter of the of your font yeah. and kern it to any other letter of that yeah. font. I found once like a website with like all the kerning pairs, mm-hmm. and it was like infinite scrolling. Yeah. Like, no! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Crazy. You know, and this is also something that you know it, when people say, "Why, why should I pay for a font?" You know. Yeah. Like, exactly. Yeah. Uh, well, <laughs> because the better the font is, yeah. uh, well, the most, the more work has gone into it. Yeah. Pavel says, "I like the O better now. Was a bit too tall in proportion to the other characters." Yeah. The O is a tricky one, but yeah. This letters could be done using triangle grid. Yeah, also. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, why not? That's a magical grid. Yeah, but I don't, I don't want to stick too much to a grid mm-hmm. at the beginning because yeah. mm-hmm. I want to get, I want to be free to explore. Because mm-hmm. if you have a grid, then you just stick to the grid and, uh, yes, it's better to just be a little bit free and then then add like rules and a second step, I think. Alright, she's asking, please show us a secret shortcut. Do you have a secret shortcut? That one that only you know? Um, that Julia doesn't know about? Oh my god, I don't know. Or Julia, do you have a shortcut that Christina doesn't know about? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> was which hmm. My favorite one, at the end of the day, is Command Q. <laughs> ah, there you go. Julia's favorite command at the end of the day is Command Q. All right. And the, the one fun thing you can do in in the applications, you know, if you want, you know, if like, you can go into into File, Edit, Keyboard Shortcuts, and uh, you know, and like take Command S for example and change it to Q. Like if you want to annoy somebody. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Be aware tomorrow. I have to change the computer. <laughs> yep, that's why you have to password protect your computers these days. Yeah. How do you do that? Like file and then you go and then to... You go, ah, then you want to know, huh? So edit. <laughs> Uh, keyboard shortcuts. Oh, okay, cool. Okay. Oh, and then I you see. can change them here. Yeah. Oh. Change it, change it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so like when you change these ones. Have you ever tried? With like, you know, like old like keyboards, you, you could actually take off the letters. Ah, just take off the letters. <laughs> ah, yes, yes. And then you can also type in weird stuff. <laughs> Stop falling. <laughs> Oops. I'm not sure about the A. I think it looks weird. There's something missing here. Mm-hmm. It's a bit too small. Do Compared to the other letters, yeah. Yeah. You looks like the, the half of something. Not, yeah, it looks like it's cut in here. Also, I think the O it's, it's too high here. So, yeah, that's why you don't mm. expand your letters. Yeah. You, do, you can ungroup stuff and then work again. So let's try make this a little bit smaller. Two. 
So Mike, Mike Guts, um, I ha you have Creative Cloud, uh, good. Uh, but you don't know how to use the Adobe software. How is the webinar different than a normal webcast? So basically, these um, these live streams we're doing uh, are really to showcase uh, other creative professionals and their workflows and their creativity. And that also inspires uh, users of the Creative Cloud um, to learn new tools, to learn new applications inside of the Creative Cloud. Um, I think YouTube and Adobe uh, Adobe.com has a lot of uh, video tutorials. If you want to uh, to learn specific things about the applications, that's where I would go on Adobe.com or inside of your applications help menus. Uh, there is also access to uh, to videos there. These streams, these live streams, are really to engage with you guys, uh, and there's many of you uh, together with us right now. And it's great to see your questions, being able to answer them. And, and for example, ask Christina and Julia, uh, you know, their opinion about anything that happens in the chat. So super cool. So, Christina and Julia, I'm gonna scare you right now, but we have two more minutes. Wow. Yes. So I give you one minute Come each. On you. <laughs> yeah, just one minute each to uh, to quickly go over what you've done today. Okay. Okay. So um, well, let's start with you, uh, Julia, and I put okay. I put you on the screen here. And basically, wow, we have got a lot of stuff that happened from the very well, from actually, the beginning sketch that you showed us. Actually, I can. Mm. I think now just do. So just a second, just a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All the pieces are coming together. Awesome. Like a puzzle. What? Like a puzzle. Like a puzzle. 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 It's like a puzzle. Like okay. A puzzle. I thought suddenly Spanish. What? No, I don't speak Spanish. Que paso? <laughs> no, yeah. <Still> not yet. <laughs> okay. Awesome. So, so we're going to be continuing on that tomorrow. Yes. Let's see. Let's see yours, Christina, very quickly. And yeah. if you don't mind zooming out uh, of how many characters you've actually created today. Oh. Like, it's crazy. Uh, crazy I stuff. Look up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. These ones. Okay. Nope. And next is Martin. Okay. All right. And uh, so... huh? yeah. Done like this? No. All right. <laughs> so goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. goodbye. So we're going to be tomorrow, back guys. tomorrow with uh, Christina and Julia to continue working on this poster. Our next guest, Martin Deckers, directly from Belgium, will be with us at the top of the hour in exactly five minutes. So stay tuned and see you in a second. See you.